spot in the guard, right? Come over here real quick. Be your guard. So I'm here, but, but punch me. The instinct says stop those hands and do this, right? Back. Push the arms down. Raise your right hand off the mat. Raise your left hand off the mat. You have no base. You plant your face, right? So, that w what happens is in instinctive grappling, you start to use your hands as balance points instead of attacking weapons. We want to free our hands up, and we free them up by all hands. I want you to now make your toes touch, your knees go shoulder width apart, and I want you to round in your hips. Really round them in, your abs are half the tight, shoulders relax, like shrug. Put your hips down, you can either be on the balls of your feet, or the flats, or the ones that change a lot probably. Okay? Now, pardon me if I offend anyone's fragile morality, but I call this, it's like the in-stroke of your fuck. Okay? You're always in your in-stroke. And you set your in stroke down and up. Like this. Not this. Not in and out. <laughs> this. Okay. And like this. And I'm going to stand a little bit back or straight up. Boom. And as I do it, I don't pull out. Keep the in stroke and I stand right up. Okay? My body screams out when I do this one to pull out. That's just what it does because I just don't like how it feels on my lower back. And besides, I don't want my dick that close to him anyways. <laughs> Gotta get crash and crash as I get older. Okay? I defend a lot of Americans if I get taught like this, especially Midwest. And I get no laughs at my jokes. <laughs> Fucking just flat. <laughs> Even offended. Right. Just right here, right? Or I could stand slightly way back. I maintain a pelvic tilt. I go slightly back. Bring up. Keep keep my hips forward. Right? Okay, let's do it. Purple to black, though. This was my money open. Because for whatever reason, I've broken down, and I can't climb up, and they're climbing into our locks, and it's getting really scary and dangerous up there, and I can't get my posture, hold me down, and I might try for a sec, and when you're in this spot, instead of doing this, where he rises up, and he just breaks you down again, because he's been doing his fucking tire smashes, <laughs> and all that stuff, right? And he's paying to do that shit. I was in a museum in Man for Chester back in you know, mining coal and, and all that stuff. Did you know they used to pay people to work? You could go join one of them gyms now and you could pay to go smash rocks and lift heavy <laughs> shit. Whirl these big ship ropes and pull boats in and shit. They used to pay you to do that shit. Okay, so he, he breaks me down, I'm in this box. My nipple level collars, I'm going to stuff into his armpits. And I'm going to try caught up. Arm lock me. When they're stuffing his armpits, it's pretty hard. And what has he done? He's opened his guard. I've accomplished my goal. Yay! Okay. But he doesn't. He locks on tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my, my foot. And I'm going to line it up right with his butthole. Then I'm going to lift my other foot, and I'm not going to try to shove my knee in his ass. For a lot of reasons. Mostly because it's going to be ineffective, not because I'll fall in. Okay? <laughs> I bring my chest to my knee, and I gain a combat base. Here, keep my head down. Why is my head down? Because he'll punch my face if it's not. If I do this, punching my face. Or he'll choke my neck. Because if he can punch me, he can choke me. My head's down. I line up, bring my chest to my knee, and let it happen. 
Without a body, this is how it looks. It's not this.
patience, pressure, posture, pass. Don't skip a step yet. So boom, I lock it in. I'm patient. Why am I patient? Because I'm on top. I don't want to lose top. I don't want to get all spazzy and blow it. I'm already on top. So I'm going to be nice and patient. Persistent pressure. That's the other key I forgot. I don't stop passing. I'm persistent. If I stop, he's going to go on attack. And if he adds to the other dimension, he's going to rise on top because I'm not holding him down anymore. Patient, persistent pressure. I roll it in and my hips pass hips. I don't think about legs, I think hips. I'm going to reach and grab either side. I might even switch. My hips are doing the switching. My grips follow my hips. I grab his wallet, maintain the instro, so I'm fucking him and taking his money. <laughs> okay? And I patiently settle in for the pass. Time. You're here. Quick prayer to God. Lock it up. Ass on lap. Choose a sign. Grab the wallet. Maintain the end stroke. Settle in for heart to heart contact. I want to put his chin in my armpit. Right like that. Which is one of the reasons why nogi grappling is nasty. Right? At least when you're wearing a gi. Both people have a condom on. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Hustle a lot of Now, one guy asks, is it this script, this script, never this script, right? Or do you guys have that back in the I script more and more. I don't know if it's because of my aging arthritic hands, bad wrists, whatever it is. Sometimes a um, gable grip. Yes, even on big guys I can always get. Sometimes when their legs are huge, I, I, I can barely grab it. You see, I grab here, and he starts to un, uh, appeal my grip. And all you do is switch. Appeal it. See how I switch? Go. And that's like all grips. Appeal it. Understand? Peel it. See how you can switch grips, right? Okay. And so, I'm in here. Remember the importance of the little <coughs> circular bind. I don't want to make this a big motion pass. It's a little motion pass. So I maintain this, and I'm really keeping my hips in tight. When I grab this, and I want to really control his hips in the pass. Really, really hippy. And then when I pass over here, I'm going to keep this hand on this side as the guard block of hand, and we'll come over here. Now, cross sides top. There's basically three fundamental hold downs on top, and then there's variations of all of them. Some are more instinctive, and some are definitely like learned. If Joe Schmuckatelli is over there, who's never done any grappling, and I go, hey Joe, how would you hold him down? Joe will go, well, um, I guess like this. Is that right? That's instinctive grappling. And, if, and from wrestling is usually an instinctive move that's been honed and perfected and adjusted. But jiu-jitsu is a little bit more cerebral and learned. Joe will never do this. Well, let's see. I got to block out his guard, and I want to hold him down, and I want to be mobile so I can attack. I don't want to be bound on him. I want to be mobile. So let's see. And, and I, I don't want to stick my face in and get kicked, so I'm going to enter with caution. I'm going to give me a kick in his wallet, on his ass, put my hand up on my foot to block out his guard, the other hand on this side. And I'm going to sprawl, and I'm going to put my nuts onto the mat. <coughs> Why are my nuts on the mat? For leverage, not because I like it, okay? But also when I'm up here, he can grab them, but we're not going to worry about that because we're not going to do that. Okay, 
So I'm over here and I'm blocking out his guard. Oh, guard me up. Yep, but, but put me in guard. See, I'm blocking his guard and I'm mobile. My hands are surrounding this hit. I'm staying low and mobile and my hands are surrounding his hips. I'm keeping around my opponent's hips. Whereas if I'm in it, I'm really kind of stuck. I can hold him, but I'm stuck. All kinds of cool ways of holding him, and I like them all, but we're going to learn this one first. Because you'll never instinctively do this. Give him a kick, hand goes down, sprawl, armpit into his neck, block out his guard, hands down his hips, go to north-south, go to cross sides the other side, blocking out his guard. To the other side, maybe harvest an arm on the way. So I harvested that arm, grew it right out of the fucking ground. Now I got him bound up, harvest his other arm. Out of the way, now he's straight jacketed. Go to a knee ride, bring him up, take the back. And I've gone through all my top, top superior positions because the guard's neutral. Out, hold him down, he moves around, it's out, practicing, blocking it out, turn my foot, put it on, right? Shit, my knee right, control his body, lift him, my choke started, various back attacks, and we drill that at my ideal school, near the walk through our falls, for an hour. Okay, do it. Sort of do my best, but my wrist is really jacked up. I'm just being unmarried. Don't you do that. I'm still swinging when I get it. Look, I'm over here, I'm going to control the back of his arm and his neck. My groin is protected from strikes, my face is basically protected, clearly I'm in a superior spot. Pressure, and I'm going to lift him up, and then I'm going to sit deep from behind and under his hips. Some of you I saw were doing this, which is kind of cool too, but that's not bad, but you, you might lose him. Okay, so that's our underpass opening. Now we're going to do our through pass opening. Split the middle. Favorite passes. Okay, so I, I'm here in the spot. We'll pull it off the combat base. Well, say I was here. I did my opening. Boom, I got my combat base. You have near side of passing, far side. Near side, I sweep, penetrate my hip, and start my pass. And then do far side. I'm here. What I want to do is capture the other's wrist. He's probably reaching around, moving around. I want to get where I have a sleeve on his wrist. And I'm going to shoot my hips and knees through. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to try to lean on his leg. None of that pain compliance shit. Okay? Because Ryan's a warrior. And Ryan does not quit from pain. He quits from leverage. So I pull. Shove it all the way through and I pin my knee onto the mat. My other hand controls his head or his jaw or his chest. So he moves around and he's stapled. Now he can lean back. I don't want to start leaning forward. And lean back. Move around a little bit. And I let the pass happen. And do whatever sub you want to do after that. So I'm here. Far side, moving around, grappling, grab a hold of that, penetrate. He has his leg up there, it's okay, push it out of the way. Pass. Right, he rises up to attack. Right, penetrate. Pass. Okay. We're moving around.
Let's do it. Let's go over common counters or the most basic ones to split the middle pass. So basically when I'm here, there's really two things he's going to do. One of them is going to be lay that shin on my hip, extend to make some space, cover those going. Feel that knee up there, there's a couple options I have. Where one is the thread the needle, and the other is the cradle. First one we're gonna do is the cradle. Like this, not cradle. Right there. Boom. So here, we can grab the slip the middle, and then it comes and cradle it up. Get right in here, lock it in tight. Pass the guard, I'm gonna rock the cradle a little bit. Pass the guard. Rock it just enough, don't wake the fucking baby up. Okay. Someone's gotta get some sleep around here. Just like this. Cradle. Rock it up a little bit. Pass the guard. Okay. I want you to start adding a variant in here. You get the cradle, and you're going to feed the top lapel to that hand, right in the choke. And you can lay back and choke, or when he puts his arm around your head, you can keep it and choke him right there. Okay. Split the middle knee comes, he pushes you far away. You can't get the cradle. Grab both legs, pass, or pushes me far away, I split it. Put one fist down. Pass. Okay. Boom. Then I start to scoot my body off to up and away. Hold it down good. I make some space in here. Sometimes even turn it into upside down guard, right? And recover my guard. That's very common. We'll do it again. Watch my nuts. Don't hurt your shin. Okay? <laughs> so come over here, get that foot right on the hip. Sometimes you can reach it up in here and push so as he's passing. See, I'm making some space right in here. I can pull in to a sweep. So, I bring it over. I gotta watch because what he's gonna do is then just underpass to that side on my leg. He's gonna leg drag it. No, no, the other way. Yes, like this. Let me do it. Here. Boom, leg comes over. So what I do is I come right in here and I just drag it through. So I even step in here if I wanna make a sucker. <coughs>
some people do it right now, isn't it? They're scared to stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? Everyone's scared to stand up with Ryan in competition. I think everyone pulled guard on him, ever. Yeah, everybody pulls guard. Which is why I'm not going to be a bottle guard with us. It should be punished. Because pulling neutrals is not going to be a reward. Running from the fight should not be a reward. But, if you successfully pull a sweep, no time was in between, you should be rewarded. Just like in the sport by the grab, we're grappling in here. I pass this guard. Grab. Well, like, go at me. I didn't really pass the guard, right? Because I didn't hold anything with well, control for one, two, three. If you're a Baja, one, two. If you're not Baja, one, two, three points, right? <laughs> but, so it's the same thing standing. I should not be penalized if I pull guard and it should be sweet. Because I pulled a sweep. I pulled a throw. I didn't pull a rate me and then I barely arm watch you. Right? But that's just my opinion. Okay, let's do a guard fundamental one. We'll do inside hook sweep as a start. Okay, so I got my inside hooks, either have sleeves or grips. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reach to grab his wallet. Not his ass! Okay, I reach, and I can slide my body accordion in and in. Trap one hand, so it's an over and under. Okay, and this is just like black and white inside hook sweep, fundamental number one. Okay. And what I want to not do is pull him onto my back. Again, that passive guard stuff. Back. As a matter of fact, if I'm on my back, he's earned it. You push me on my back. Uh-uh. Push me on my back. No. Push me on my back. No. He's got to earn that. He's got to earn that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shift my ass this way, and I'm going underneath him. Okay? I'm not doing this. I'm here, shifting. I'm almost putting my elbow underneath his knee. Um, a back knee, a pinion. See? Can you really push that pressure? Not letting it happen. Get right up under his hips. And sweeping. That would be my ideal perfect sweep. Does it always sound that way? No, of course not, because they're fighting you. It's a fight. If there were a perfect move, I would have bought it. Probably would have cost me about 30 grand years back. I would have hoarded it for a while. Kept it, and then I said, you know what, I need some money. And I would have sold it, put a patent on it, and it would have gone viral. Because it's a perfect move, works every time, no matter what, no counter. And within a year, everybody would have it, and we'd have world peace. <laughs> okay, so I'm right here, I grab it, I shift my ass, I'm going underneath him. My spine does not touch the mat. I will penalty kick your heads if I see a spine on the mat. Lift and sweep. One more time. He's driving me down. I don't let it happen. Sweep. Come here. Don't embarrass me, white belt. <laughs> Go. Go. Down. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Pull it right into here. So I got two 
two inside hooks. Stay off trying to sweep you back. Allison, and make some space. Pull across, grab his wall. Lift him up. Here, take the back. Okay. Here, take each. Drag, even if he, even if he he won't drag. Okay. Scoot in. Here, take the back. Pull out a foot. In here, I was trying to get my sweet knees back in his legs out. There's my drag, right? Boom. He closes the gap. Back to sweep. All right. Playing in here. Okay. Let's do it. You should almost always show one move. One class or week, and then the next week show the counter. Because then when you uh, train it, you don't immediately have the answer to the counter, so no one tries it. You know, you, but since we're doing the seminar model, and I want to dazzle you, I'm going to show more shit. I'm going to show you the accounts. First, basic what counter is, I want to base out and flatten out. And violate the rules and put my hands on the mat probably. So he starts, what I'm gonna do is start basing out and flattening him out on his hips. Hugging his hips. That's one thing. Okay? First one we'll do though is this. So he has hooks, he thinks he has a sweep. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot one leg straight back. Bring it in to one side. Pass. He's got his inside hooks, moving around. On this side, shoot my leg straight back. Move to the other side, jam the foot, and pass. See how it's coming in real quick. It's going to work when they got some hook foot tension on my legs. So he's putting on hook tension here. See how I slid that leg back? Lift it up. Tension in there. Check one in. Pass. Right. Tension. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I can even stop the shin. Stop the shin. Turn. Pass. So he's, in, he's on his butt because he wants to have a nice mobile guard. These are the nice pivoty mobile guards so he can see me. So I'm going to use this pivot, pivot him, right? He's kind of countering it off, he feels that thing, pull back, he starts to extend the sweet knot, pass the other side. Okay? Pass it through, right? Pass. Pass, no, pass. Oh, sweat. Pass. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> I managed to kind of flatten him out on his back a little bit. There's bounce around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch my knees put together tightly. Right on his feet. So I'm squeezing his feet. Then in the midair, I'm going to kick my feet and my hips. Pass. That's the one you were trying to do. This, he starts to sweep me, whatever it is, I stop, pinch, kick my hand around. Pass. So you can work pretty good when you're like bouncing you up in the air. You're like this, he walks the sweep. See, I keep looking at, I gotta pinch first. If I don't pinch, I get nothing. That's what you work doing. I pinch your knees tight, and I push you on in, and I'm kicking my hip around. Right? Here, like this. See a pinch. Pass this way. Grab it. Keep it up. Say it won't work. So I come back. Reach under his arm. Thread it. Jam. Do the first one. Tip. 
But the one you're going to do right now, you will almost pull off on me. Pitch. Kip. Pass. Make sense? Shoulder 